Good morning guys, we got some uh, something going on today I want to bring you guys along. We got a huge um, dig up for a water line. We had a customer that had a lead line break and we went out there, there's no repairing it and you shouldn't repair lead lines anyway because they're extremely toxic. They actually just had a baby so it's an emergency job. We were getting it done as fast as possible but it's an interesting one. It's on a huge hill so we're going to have a uh, excavator out there digging it up for us today and it's going to be interesting so i want to bring you guys along today so you can see how that's all done all right we just pulled up to the job and these guys are already working so that's what i like to see they got a hole dug up and this is what we we're facing this big hill here not easy with this when it's like this because you can't just excavate or pull a line through either especially because it's lead so this is turning into a bigger one but it is what it is we're gonna get it done and they're gonna have water by the end of the day that's the most important part whatever it takes here's the inside here this is where the water line was coming out that broke See it now they have their tracer line on there so that they could trace the uh the, the uh, lead line but this was broken there was no way to fix it so when they come in they're most likely going to come in through this way if they can't get in through this way and we'll just run this line redo the meter um if they could come in from this way it's a bonus but if they can't we'll just come in from this side and repipe this way but it's going to be nice we're going to get it done oh here's the broken piece this is the piece that snapped right off snapped right at the threads and that's a lead line with a galvanized nipple in it completely completely just sheared off and there was no not not, not even enough meat to get a dresser coupling if we wanted to so that wasn't a uh, wasn't a possibility so let's see how it goes So they got a, they cut the uh, lead line right here and they have a system what they're going to try first is they put a cable through this line and split it and bring their copper line through if it works. If not, they're going to have to excavate. But if this works, they could just pull their copper line without digging up everything. But it's not, it's worth a try. System where they try to send this cable through right here. It looks like they can't able to get it because the lead's too soft. Got it. The idea is that this cable comes out the other side and then once they grab it they can pull the new pipe through but being that it's lead it might ball up so we're they're trying but we'll see So you never lost faith. These guys got the cable. <laughs> they had to dig a little back. They tunneled, and they uh, they were able to locate the cable. So now, even though they went back a little bit, they don't have to excavate the whole thing. They could just pull it through. Still the plan. Keep going, keep going, guys. Fifteen feet. They just pulled that cable through. So now we're in business. So how this works is they slip that cable through. Now, there's a tip on like this in the basement. And this actually splits that pipe as they pull it through. And it'll pull the new pipe with it. So the problem here is it's lead. So what could happen is instead of splitting the pipe, it makes a giant ball and stops it. So we're gonna find out once they start pulling, hoping that this splits that pipe in half. 
with uh, Kyle from Dutra. They're out of uh, Montvale. Um, these guys are the best in Bergen County if you guys need any dig ups for sewer lines, water lines. They have all kinds of things going on. This is Kyle here. How you doing? One of the owners. These guys have uh, been helping us today. They've been doing an awesome job. They have all kinds of like different tricks and stuff. Um, they have, uh, what is it, um, pipe burster? You pipe said? bursting, yeah, piggyback systems to replace oh. your water and your sewer all together. Yeah, they could, they could literally take your sewer line out and you're in certain certain situations they can take your sewer line out and your water line in one shot they'll just do both in one shot and these are the, from what i know these are the only guys in the area that could actually do something like this so these guys are the guys you want on your team especially when you have a crazy job like this with a hill a giant hill but um these guys are awesome definitely recommend them you go to uh dutra sewer and water .com or uh what's your guys number 201-930-1229 that's it. You guys call them, they'll, uh, they'll take care of you. The new copper through. They're just working on the curb box right now to get a uh, temporary attachment because both sides are lead, so the town's gonna come out and do from here to the middle of the street. But right now, we gotta get these people some water, so they're trying to get it attached. That's how they do that. Okay, so we have our valve on, we have our flare, we have a sleeve. We're gonna be removing this because it goes half inch to three quarter. I'm gonna repipe this, make it nice and put a new valve on the uh, house side also. We got the house side strapped up nice. Now we're gonna put this brand new bowl valve on, on the house side. 
We're gonna repipe this all together. turn it on we got everything piped in let's see if we hear anything from upstairs any cheering or anything no leaks let's see do we hear anything there we go Water is back. Cleaning up. Looking good. They put their wood retaining wall back. The dirt back up. Try to get as close to never being here as possible. All right, here's the finished product inside the house. Get the water main. We got our new valve. All right, guys, so let's show you the finished product and then you guys be a judge. You guys tell me how did the job go. Here's that curb box right here. Like they were never here. Just a little bit of dirt will wash away, but like nobody was ever here.